Hi there, I'm Pete Scargill and this is the opening video for the 01 XDS3104E oscilloscope. As you can see, it arrived in good condition from China. Um, slight dint in the package, but uh, knowing the packaging on these things, I'm sure it'll be okay once we get it opened up. So let's get started. This arrived by uh, DHL, who delivered uh, relatively speedily though I have to say it did sit in the country for a couple of days before getting here. I'm not really sure why, but that's not untypical for DHL. Anyway, let's take off the first layer of packaging and have a look. And of course, inside the box, we have another box. This one wasn't as easy as usual to get open. I cut the video a little bit here um, and there we are there's the O1 packaging on the inside the packaging does feel slightly heavier than the SDS product but that's not unsurprising given that there's so much more inside so the first thing we come across inside is well I'm not entirely sure what it is it's a thing Next we have a uh, small manual and CD and two oscilloscope leads. Then we have two more oscilloscope leads because of course this is a four channel scope. And some probe leads as you might find in a multimeter. And an English power lead which is always nice and a USB lead for communications. And here it is. At this point, I'm getting quite excited, of course. And now to get rid of the final packaging. There's no doubt about it, these things are well packed. I don't think I've had any damage on any such product uh, up to now. And there it is with an exceedingly fresh factory smell about it. The O1 XDS 3104E 4 channel oscilloscope. I'm going to put some details up um, on the screen here. Um, I'll go through the basics. That's your uh, multimeter there, including a 10 amp input obviously mains power in VGA out Ethernet connector USB connector then the little security connector then we have signal outputs for the waveform generator Nothing on the bottom, sturdy handle on the top. So there you are. We'll go through the um, the buttons. Uh, obviously along the bottom and the side of the screen, there are buttons for various functions. At the top, we have our multi-purpose button, a whole array of controls, it's run and stop and single on the uh, top there. Then, of course, we have the position controls, uh, whose use depends on which channel you're working on, and the four channel inputs. Right now, there's only one um, scope trace showing, uh, but that's easily amended. Incidentally, those rainbow colours are an artefact of the camera and the polarised LCD screen. The oscilloscope has a help system built in, as you can see there. And again, don't take the screen quality there as a guide. And that's it for opening. In a future video, we're going to go through uh, the, the use of the scope and more of the features. I hope this has given you an idea 
of what the product is about. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and take a look at the blog.